Okay, this video is going to go over uh, the company website as well as the uh, owner portal. Uh, just kind of going through a, a quick tour of these and how they work and what the features are. Uh, we do have a new owner portal for those of you that have been with us for a while, so this will be important to watch even if you have been a client for a while. So obviously when you get here to our website, uh, there's uh, quite a bit of information here, and this is our new website, uh, uh, quite a bit different than the old one. Um, if you're a property owner, you can click here, and uh, all the information about uh, uh, what we do to manage property, of course, and then our pricing is down here. If you have anybody you're planning to refer to us, you can always send them here and they can check out the pricing, which is a little bit different than, uh, than what our older clients uh, signed up under. So uh, they can get this information here if you have anybody you'd like to refer. As always, we do uh, give you uh, uh, free management uh, for, a, uh, for a couple of months if you refer someone to us, so keep that in mind. Um, after that, you can go up here to access. You just move your mouse over that, and this little menu pops up down here. And you can go to the owner login. This is for the owner portal. And then just put in your login information. And click sign in. Of course, if you've forgotten your password, you can ask us to send you a, uh, a new password. Uh, you can just email us at support at gtlrealestate.com, or you can click the uh, forgot password link back there on the login screen, and that'll get us a message. Okay, so this is the new main login page for the owner portal. So you'll see right at the beginning, it has the previous balance, how much money was in your account at the end of the previous month, um, the income for this current month, and then your expenses for this month. Then you can go over and look at the ending balance, which is basically your balance now, how much your management fee so far for the month has been from the rent we've collected, and then the available balance is how much money is scheduled to be sent to you. So this one is negative because there are unpaid bills in this account, which we'll look at here in a few minutes. You'll see that there's a button here for new contribution. If you click on that, it'll bring up the little screen here if you have multiple portfolios like, uh, like this account, then you can select which one you want to contribute money to. Just put in the amount, leave any comments about what the money's for, and then click Save, and that will automatically do a transfer from the bank account that we have on file for you that's listed here um, to, uh, into your account with us. Close that out. So then you can look at the uh, income and expenses down here and you can include unpaid uh, on the expenses, for example, um, to, if you have unpaid expenses uh, for the current month, then those, it'll show those there. But uh, normally what you would see here, if you don't have that selected, is just the expenses and the income that you've already had for the current month. And we can look at the ones for the, the previous months here when we get to another screen, but this is just your main dashboard here. Okay, up on the right, you'll see you have your name, and then you have this notifications here, which you can click on. The little red seven there says you have seven notifications. So if you click on that, it'll say, for alerts, you have seven unpaid bills. And we'll take a look at those here in a second. Uh, but up here, you'll see the little down arrow next to your na uh, name and initials. If you click on that, there's a place here where you can click on your contact info if you want to edit that. You can click on your payment information. And you'll see uh, your bank account is here and your, some of your information is blacked out so you, you know, somebody can't see it, but um, that information is here, billing information will be down here. Now you can, if you want to change this, what you do is you first click delete payment info to remove the information that's already in there, and then it'll give you a button to put in new payment information. But generally, you know, we'll already have your, your information on file from your management agreement. So if you go back up to that little down arrow, you can also go here to change your password. If you click on that, it'll pop this open and you can just type in your current password and then what you want to change it to and then update. You can return to our company homepage, log out, or dark navigation just kind of changes the colors. Um, some people prefer the, this different color scheme. Okay, so that's the main page. Uh, next, which is the dashboard, that's where you start out. Then we can go over to the ledger. So if you go there, if you had transactions for the month, you would see those down here, and those would be um, your uh, uh, money that's come in to you, 
uh, any payments that you've made into your portal, uh, anything like that, you'll see that. And then, of course, it has the same things up here for your beginning balance, or excuse me, for income, expense, uh, your balance, and your management fee. That's all here. Now, this little button up here is your filter key, so you can change the period of time that this covers. So if you want to see last month, you can just click on that and apply. It'll take a second to calculate. And now you can see the information for the previous month. So there was income for $13.49, expenses of $13.49 in this case, so the account ended at zero still. And this is my own account, so obviously my management fee is zero, but uh, normally you would see your management fee here. And then you'll see all the individual transactions from your tenants, or like I said, from expenses or any money that you've put into your account. It's all listed down here. And sometimes if you have uh, uh, a lot of properties, there might be more than 10 rows. You can just click on this and do 100 entries, or you can cycle through the pages down here. And each one of these lines will have a property name listed, and, uh, and the tenant's name is also listed there, so you can keep track of which building, which tenant this is. And then it will tell you whether it's a bill, a charge, or uh, a discount, you know, whatever the case may be. So next after your ledger is communications. You should check your community message occasionally in case we have anything important posted here. In this case, it's talking about the uh, referral program that we have. Um, Next is the alerts page, like we talked about earlier, and you can click on that and go to your unpaid bills, but we'll get to that in a second. And then there's conversations. If you click on that, there's no conversations here right now, but you could always start a conversation. So if you wanted to do that, just click on New, and then you can select which portfolio, if you have multiple portfolios type in your comment and click save and that'll start a conversation with us which basically means it goes into our uh, support ticket system so we get an email and we're able to uh, to get back to you on uh, whatever the issue may be next is the document section uh, some nice new features here if you've got lots of documents uh, like I've got 107 on my account because I've got quite a few properties so if you click in here you could search for let's say you wanted to see just the leases so you type in lease, and then it narrows down only the files that have the word lease in them are displayed. So that narrows it down for me to only 25 documents. So you can easily search for documents. Uh, unlike the old owner portal, that makes it uh, nice and easy to find what you're looking for, especially if you have a lot of properties or a lot of files there. You can filter it by the portfolio, like I said, if you have more than one. And you can also just look at certain documents. If you know your document was posted, for example, last month, you can click on that and hit apply and then you'll see only the documents from last month or excuse me only the statements from last month your documents will still be down here normally but that'll filter out the statements the search works for both statements and documents the filter only works on the uh, statement section so then you can look down through here if you want to download any of these for example let's say you look down through here and you see this letter that was uploaded in July and you want to download that, you can click on that and then come up and hit the download button. It takes it a second and now it's downloaded that file. I can open it up on my computer. The other thing you can do if you ever need to download all of your documents, say you want to keep them stored on your, your own Dropbox or whatever it may be, there's this button here at the top to select all. Or in this case, there's only it can only do 25 on a page, so I would select 100 entries and then it'll select all of them. So all 100 are selected there. And then I can go up to the top and click the download button and it'll download everything. So that's, that's an easy way for you to download all of your documents here. And you can do the same thing on your statements. You can click on these, click download, and it will download all of them all at once. So it makes it nice and easy. Next we have the reports tab. Now you'll have whatever kind of different reports are posted to your account. Different owners might have different reports, so yours might not look exactly like this, but this is what most of you will see these top two here. I have more than that because I have two different portfolios in this account, but most of you will see these top two, which is work orders and rent roll. And if you wanted to look at one of these, you could click on that, and then it brings up your rent roll report 
uh, in this case just two properties in this portfolio and it has all the information, the deposits, the rent, uh, the, the buildings, the lease start and end dates, rent, and so on and so forth. So you can take a look at all of that. Okay, then you can close that. And next would be the bills tab. So if you click on that, you'll see there's two unpaid bills here. You can scroll over here and there's a little button under action. If you click on that, you can view the details of that bill. So click on that. And it'll bring up the, the details for that. It's taking it just a second. There we go. Still loading. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to look up the data. There we go. So it has the reference number, or it has the bill number, then a reference number, which you don't really need to worry about. The bill number is what you'll really use when you're asking us about it. The date of the bill, the date the bill is due. It's due within 30 days is normal, which means that's how quickly the vendor has to be paid. And then it has a description of what was done on that uh, work. So in this case, a two-bedroom, one-bathroom detailed cleaning of the property. Now, if you look down under bill splits, you'll see you know, if it was split up into multiple different categories. For example, let's say you had a repair bill that was also had some cleaning on it. You could see that it would have the, the repair portion and the cleaning portion separated. So you'd have two different lines. That's what the bill split section is. In this case, it's all just on one line. So it has the total there. If you'd made any payments, you would see those listed here with the details. And if there were any documents attached to that, like there could be for an inspection or something like that, then you could go down here and view that document also for that bill. Okay, we'll go back to the bill section again. So also under the action section, you can right from here you can generate a PDF, which will just give you it'll just download a PDF of the the details on that you can keep for your records or give to your accountant and uh, the other way is you can click view invoice and you can see that right on your screen but both of those will generate something that you could use for your own records and you can filter this also so by default this is showing the current month so if by clicking the little filter button we can change what it's showing we can filter by bill date or payment date we can say all bills paid bills only or only unpaid bills we can select which ones we want and we can tell it which period so if we want all bills we've ever had we can click on that apply and it'll take a few seconds for it to figure that out and then you'll see there's 217 bills on this account uh, going back oh I believe about 10 or 11 years now so they're all still stored in there for for you to look at no matter how old they are and there you can sort them by clicking on these columns here, for example, if I wanted to sort by the building, I can just click that and you see it puts them in building order. Um, so you're able to, uh, to easily find whatever you're looking for. Now, of course, it's only sorting those for what's on that screen. So if you want to view more, you would click the 100 entries per page, sort by building, and there you see all of the buildings are grouped together so it's easy to find what you're looking for if that's what you're trying to find. Okay, that's the bills section. Next is maintenance. And you'll see basically all of your work orders. Um, and again, this is something that you can filter. So it defaults to just the open work orders. So you can click on that and show all work orders. And then it shows everything. And you'll see there's 129 work orders um, for this portfolio and that goes back basically forever since we said all so you can see them all down through here over the years all right so that is how your owner portal basically works um, if you have any questions about that again send us an email at support at gtlrealestate.com I wanted to show you something else on the website that you might find helpful so you can go up to the little down arrow there and click log out and that'll take you back to the main uh, login screen and then we'll just go back to centralgeorgiarealty.com. Okay, and then we'll, this is from our main website. If you're in Florida, the website would be gtlpropertymanagement.com. But basically the same website, everything's laid out the same. Um, so the tenants have a pay rent button here. makes it very easy for them to pay their rent. They also have a maintenance request button that makes it really easy for them to do that. And that's 24-7, 365. 
And then there's a place where it's for both owners and tenants, which is the help center. So if you click on that, it will take you to our uh, knowledge base. So this is basically a whole database of frequently asked questions for owners, tenants, sales clients. Um, basically, this is questions that we get regularly, so we just created an article on our website uh, under the Help Center where you can take a look. So, for example, can I conduct my own inspection? If you click on that, you'll see here there's a video you can watch, and then there's uh, sort of either a transcript or just a summary of what's in the video explaining uh, the answers to that question. So you can go back to the main screen here, you can search, and you can just type in a question, really. Um, for example, a tenant might type in, can I get my late fee waived? And then search that, and then it will sort by the most uh, likely, or the most relevant article. So in this case, waiving late fees, the tenant could click on that, and it talks about the very few instances where our policy allows us to waive late fees. So, or you can click on something over here. Let's say you just want to see the articles for owners. Click on that, and here's the articles that deal with owner topics, and it might be more than one page. So, you can click on any of them and see a description or an answer to that question. It has related articles at the bottom if any other articles are related to that. And finally, if you can't find an answer to your question in the Help Center, you can click the Contact Us button, just put in your name, email, and your message. You can attach a screenshot or whatever you need to if it might be a technical issue, and send that to us. And that will automatically go into our uh, uh, ticket center, where basically it opens a support ticket, and someone from our staff gets that and gets back to you, uh, usually within a few hours, but um, uh, definitely by the next business day, uh, no matter what. So that's, that's how our website works. We try to put a lot of information on here. We're constantly updating this knowledge base. Whenever we get new questions in, we add them. Uh, as you can see, we've got almost, uh, what, 55 or so articles in here right now. So quite a bit of information is already stored there. Um, but again, if you have any other questions, just send us an email, support at gtlrealestate.com, and we'll be happy to get back to you.